There's one. Cut my hair. <laughs> or my call me Big Papa shirt. This made a lot more sense uh, eight months ago when I was really a Big Papa. I was pretty big. Andrew's still here. Just woke up early this morning. Um, well, early for when you go to bed. So regardless of what time I go to sleep, you know, everybody knows don't come knocking on my door at the ass crack of fucking dawn or the window or anything. Because I ain't going to be very happy, you know, because they know, I mean, it's one thing to come pick on my door. If I'm awake, I'll get up, you know. If I'm not awake, uh, I won't get up. So don't wake me up. You know what I mean? For no reason, especially just to. And so, you know, I'm running on. If you see my eyes, I'm running on next to empty. Someone was n not knocking, banging on my window. And then I tried to go back to sleep afterwards after I dealt with the person. And it didn't pan out too well. I did the haircut myself. Um, it was a lot. When I did it with, I had uh, hair trimmers, whatever. When I did it, I I liked it, but it just didn't. It wasn't doing right. So I just went ahead and buzzed it all off. And uh, everybody seems to be pissed, pissy about it. Grandma doesn't like it. Josh was absolutely upset and I'm like thinking to myself who the fuck do you people think you are having a right to say something to me about my hair it's my fucking hair you know if I want to shave it bald shave my eyebrows pluck my um, eyelashes I can and I will you know what I mean it ain't your fucking head ain't, don't you fucking worry about it there ain't no reason to get so pissy about somebody else's hair that's one thing if my locks were insured for like a million bucks but you know that sure grows back and it'll be back too so I really don't care to wear a hat I wore a hat years so it don't bother me none I look fine you know what I'm saying I've lost 50 pounds cut off eight and a half, eight and a half months of hair so, let me and my hair be. Uh, had a little run in with the Grams earlier. Um, about stuff I can't talk about. Just stuff you just don't talk about, but I can't believe she said what she said to me. She, she lumps me into categories of my brother and she knows that right now there I am not working because there's nowhere to fucking work and where there is able to work I can't do it she knows that so she knows I'm not out there fucking working and I'm not got a wallet thick of money and a bank account down there with five grand in it or anything you know that play account I didn't got that shit you know I don't and I mean I've cut down on so much things so many things I've I smoke a pack a day not I smoke a pack a day but I only smoke half of the cigarette and then I smoke the other half except for this one I'm having a whole one so like I'm I cut down that so I don't have to buy cigarettes for like every three to four days, and I don't buy them by the carton, I buy them by the pack, because it's cheaper here. Um, I don't use very much gas in my Jeep. I'm not going places because it's not my gas money to be doing spending it. I don't go out to, you know, I don't go 
out to hot springs and go to a movies like nor you know like regular people do I, I, I haven't done any of that because I don't got the money to do it and I don't want to ask her for the money to do it so even though when I need a little bit of cash for something I get lumped into the same category as my brother and some of my other family members that just wring money out of her and him and my grandpa now if I was going to wring money out of them don't you think that you know I would have no fucking complaints about nothing you know I don't go out and when the people my brother included that get the money from my grandparents it's gone like it goes and I mean two or three hundred dollars it's gone in one night you know what I'm saying I get lumped in the same shit and it's not it's not cool and I don't bitch about it too often because it's, you know, she, I let her, I just let her. But today I just had to say, hey, look, I don't, you need to chill and think before you speak because I'm not my brother and I'm not the other people. So, you know, I treat them with respect. I do. So all I ask in return is some respect now if I ask you for some money for something like my grandma it's not it's for something it's, it's for cigarettes food or gas or my medication that's it you know I don't the apartment situation yes it's been we spent a lot of money but it, that's coming out of a different set of situation it's coming it's not from her her purse. Let me just say that. Maybe I'm right to feel this way. I feel that I do. If, if, if you knew my, the, all of the situation, I mean, I think you would agree with me, but I am allowing you to express your opinion. If you don't think I'm right, I mean, you can say so, you know, but please don't feel that I'm a brat or a user or worthless because I'm not I just hope you guys don't feel that way spoke enough for today peace